So apparently Respawn Entertainment is working on a new Star Wars Bounty Hunter Mandalorian game, and this is something that is extremely exciting to me. I know some of you may not know this, but I am a massive Star Wars fan. I actually have a whole Star Wars display off camera. I think what's kind of funny is that they didn't do this sooner because the running joke of the Mandalorian series for most of us was the fact that this felt like an RPG. Like it felt like he was just doing fetch quest after fetch quest, which is, you know, in typical Disney fashion to pad out a series, but it's something that really seems like it works extremely well for a video game. So I kind of feel like they have their template right there. And obviously you throw in all the awesome gadgets that he has. It's really a great idea for a game. And today I have an article from Insider Gaming that goes a little bit more in depth about the story. But before we jump into that, if you could do me a small favor and leave a like on this video, it's one small click for you, but it is a massive help to the channel and I greatly appreciate it. And with that said, let's jump right into this article. It says, Insider Gaming sources have revealed that Respawn Entertainment is developing a first person Star Wars Mandalorian game that is in its early stages of development. According to sources, the game will see the player take control of a Mandalorian bounty hunter, unclear who, set during the time when the Galactic Empire is dominating across the galaxy. It's your job as a bounty hunter to capture bounties, dead or alive, for cash rewards. As first reported by Venture Beach, Jeff Grubb, the game was being led by Respawn creative director Mohamed Alavi, who left the studio to pursue his next adventure. According to Grubb, who didn't disclose it was a Star Wars game at the time, but as recently, the game will be focused on mobility and style as guiding principles. The game's high mobility has been made possible storytelling wise thanks to the Mandalorian jetpack, which allows the player to perform horizontal, dashing, vertical, jumping, boost sliding, somewhat similar to sliding down hills in Apex Legends, and more. Sources describe the game as very fast paced, as such will reward players who play in this style. For example, the player's health will mainly regenerate based on successive kills. As to be expected, playing as a Mandalorian bounty hunter gives the player a wide variety of weapons and gadgets, including a wrist rocket, grapple hook, a visor for tagging enemies and bounties and more. It's understood that the game will not be an open world and have linear levels taking place on a variety of different planets in the Star Wars universe. While it's unclear when the game will be released, it is said we're still a year or two away at the very least. It's currently unclear if the game will have a multiplayer experience or not. So yeah, I mean, honestly, this is something that just feels like a no brainer for me. Playing as a Mandalorian would be extremely exciting and it's a way to give us another Star Wars experience aside from being a Jedi. Mandalorians are definitely the second coolest in my opinion and i would absolutely love that power fantasy of playing as a bounty hunter i think that that would be incredible a ton of fun and there's just a lot of depth that they could put into this game a lot of upgrading on gadgets a lot of skills that you could learn and i couldn't think of a better studio to be working on it than respawn they've done such a great job with the jedi fallen order games and apex has been a hit since it came out a lot of their games really are tied to movement that's really important when it comes to playing as a bounty hunter. They tend to be characters that rely heavily on just being extremely reflexive and fast. If they can really successfully give us that ability to play in that manner, I think that's great. I really wasn't expecting an open world game. I still have yet to see an open world game be successfully implemented into Star Wars simply because there's just so many different planets. I'd imagine that it, this game would be more focused kind of like Jedi Survivor, although that kind of had like open sand boxes on their levels so there's still a possibility i guess that maybe they might try that but it does seem to me that a bounty hunter mandalorian game might fit better in a more linear structure so i'm not really upset about that i think that that kind of fits the kind of game that i'd imagine anyway i really can't wait to see more about this i really want to see a trailer and i want to see what this is going to be all about i think a lot of us have been really hungry for a game like this since the news of that game i think it was like what like star wars Wars 1313 or something. I'm probably butchering it. It was many years ago, but that game was in the works. Everyone was excited about it. And then when LucasArts closed down, that game's production ended as well. So I think a lot of us have been really excited for that kind of experience. But anyways, let me know your thoughts in the comments. Are you as excited as I am about the idea of a Mandalorian bounty hunter game? I'd love to hear what you think of it and leave a like on this video if you enjoyed it. Maybe consider subscribing if you enjoy the content that I cover on my channel. And as always, my name's Eric Rosas and I hope you all have a fantastic day. Thank you.